the whole of africa have one currency have one parliament have one president and have one military command There is no South Africa in Nkosisigele that we see. There is Africa. Because there is no place called South Africa. South Africa is a geographical concept which seeks to give you direction. It's not a name of a place. We are in Africa. So once you say Africa, you don't have to add anything before. You have covered everything, including this side of the south of Africa. Because we are an international organization. That's why the logo of the EFF has got no South African map. It has got African map. Because we are an organization that wants to unify the whole of Africa have one currency, have one parliament, have one president, and have one military command. Because the reason we are fragmented like this and we are defeated is because the enemy enjoys and thrives when we are divided. They say to you, he says, remove borders. Remo Why is he saying remove borders? He wants these people to come here. He wants these people to come here. There are no borders in Europe. The people who say to you, why do you want to remove borders? They don't have borders themselves. And we have not seen, because of borderless Europe, we have not seen the people of Italy moving to Britain. Because the pound is stronger. Let's go to Britain than the euro. No. They have always stayed where they are. But they can eat breakfast in Italy and have lunch in Britain and have dinner in Spain without any hassle. Why? They are one people. They are enjoying each other. They embrace one another. But we must not do that. Once we do that, Malema says people must come here. They are going to take your jobs and all of that. Why are you allowing that? This Malema must be stopped. It's not true. Inkosi Tembe is an Inkosi of the uh, Tembe uh, family both here in KwaZulu Natal and in Mozambique. And Mozambique. They never said, yo, Inko Siye to Isi Natal. Say, say, Hamba Manj. We are no longer staying in Mozambique. No, they are staying in Mozambique. So it's not true that once you say there is no border, there is no border in the Pe Tembe uh, nation. There are one thing, but those who are in Mozambique, they stayed there. Those who are in South Africa, they stay here. In Lesotho, there is no fence between Free State and Lesotho. The people of Lesotho, what is the day today? Sunday. Shem, they are in Free State now as we speak. Papus. Around five, six. What's up, Pinda? Go back to Lesotho. There's no problem. They are together. They are one thing. So why didn't they move from Lesotho into Free State? Before even Malema existed and the EFF existed because there's never been a fence. There's no fence. Mashaba showed you. He went to Limpopo and said, yeah, look, look. There's no fence here between Zimbabwe and Limpopo. But when you go into Zimbabwe, there are still people there in Zimbabwe. They are staying there. Yet Mashaba confirmed there is no fence. And without fence, these people are going to come here. Malema says they must come here. 
There is no fence. Why are they not coming now? There is no fence. I said to you, mark that, we are led by fools. Because there is no fence, but there is a gate. We are led by fools. There is no fence, but there is a gate. When you go home today, you arrive at your home from this meeting, you just find the fence is gone. Only the gate is standing alone like this. And then, what do you do? Without fence, you still open the gate. To... Hey, we are in a state of madness. Why, if these borders mean nothing, why are they opposed to them? They are threatened by African unity. Because the unity of African people will mean they are equal to China, they are equal to India, they are equal to Russia, they are equal to Britain. How can Swaziland tell Britain anything with that size of a population? They won't listen to them. But once we come together, we are billions of people who can confront the status quo globally. So, don't listen to the nonsense that says, these people are going to come here, they are going to take our jobs and all of that. Anyway, these people have been here. The economy of South Africa that was established by Rhodes, Cecil John Rhodes, established the economy and the economic system of South Africa using Southern Africa. There's no nation that has not contributed in the gold and diamonds which made what South Africa is today. That's why there is a language called Fanaka law. That language did not come from the EFF. We found it. Why? Africans found themselves together and had to develop a language which will make it easy for them to communicate as colleagues. They've been here. So there's no one and they've never been here with their families. They are here to work and then when they are off, they go back to their families. No one will ever overburden your health system because these people are not here. They are searching for greener pastures. They are going back. If you follow the logic that says people move to areas where there is, there is richness and that area is more richer than where you come from. Then let's look at Limpopo. Limpopo is extremely poor compared to Haute. There is no border between Limpopo and Haute. There is no fence. But the people of Limpopo never moved from Limpopo to go and settle in Haute because Haute is more richer than Limpopo. So if this logic that Nigerians are going to move from Nigeria to here because they are looking for the richness here, why are the people of Limpopo not being the first ones to move into Houghton to go and look for those richness? So do not follow the logic that doesn't work because its aim is to keep us divided and control the whole of Africa. All I'm saying is the EFF is not a tribalistic organization, it's not an ethnic organization, it's not a regional organization, it's an international organization. And everywhere, even in America, where you find black people, where you find Africans, where you find the oppressed and the dejected masses of our people, and you are wearing a red, a red beret, they are all going to come greet you because they know that this is the organization that represents all of us.